What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna to be talking about XRP because I think XRP is actually consolidating and it's looking primed for a huge move to the upside. This is XRP on the weekly time frame. First we're gonna look at the charts, then we're gonna look at news and kind of what they want to do in the long term. Um, so this is XRP, like I was saying, on the weekly, currently sitting at 47 cents, just broke through that 47 cent barrier, up 1.78% today, probably because Bitcoin has been pumping up 1.5%, and Dogecoin, obviously, with the whole Twitter news and Elon buying Twitter, of course Dogecoin's going to pump. So this is XRP, and I don't know how many of you guys were back um, in crypto back here in 2016, 17, 18, or out there, when XRP went from like very little, 22 cents. It was even lower. I saw it at, yeah, this was at 13 cents and it rose all the way up to, you know, $3.30, 20 cents, up 2,300%. I mean, we would all love, <laughs> all love gains like that. I think it could be coming pretty soon. So, after the blow off top in 2018, we saw a huge retracement. XRP went from the top down to the very bottom, which was right here. That was the COVID crash. That was the very bottom of it, down a whopping 96%, which in a bear market and in crypto is very common for coins to go down that much. From there, from the very bottom at 10, 11 cents, it rose all the way up to one dollar and 95 cents 94 cents somewhere around there and that had a that's a that was a massive gain if we draw a ruler on that and bring it up to the top you know that's 1500 percent you ain't going to get 1500 percent in the stock market you ain't going to get 1500 percent in many places except crypto and that's why we are here so if we scroll out and look at xrp right now how it is let me um, delete this little line right here. I think XRP is actually looking like it's in a double bottom. And see this rounded bottom? It's pretty rounded and it hasn't really jumped up, you know, a ton too much. And it's kind of been in that rounding bottom formation. So what I would love to see and what I could see happen is that happen. And then we continue to do a rounded bottom until we break up through it and then go you know, to new all-time highs, breaking above the all-time high in 2018, which was wicked up right there. I would love to see that. That would be very bullish for XRP, and it could happen. Like, it, there's a likelihood this could happen. You can see like a double bottom. This is on more on a smaller time frame, but you can see like it has kind of a rounded bottom before it breaks that all-time high or the neckline, and it bounces back. It, you know, shoots straight up, comes down, retests, and then continues upwards. So what could we see happen? We could see it break this level, come back down, and then go back up again. Or we could put the neckline kind of like right here at that level. We could see XRP, I'm going to delete this, go rounded bottom, rounded bottom, break through, come down, retest, and then continue upwards. So if we could break that $1.60 range and then maybe go up to $2, $2.30, come back down, retest that $1.60 range or somewhere around there and then can continue upwards, the long-term um, play out would be insane. Like we could see XRP going you know, up into the $10, $20. I don't want to give an exact number, but we could see it go really high, especially if they do win this lawsuit and this double bottom actually plays out. That would be amazing. It's kind of crazy that you think about XRP is still number six on CoinMarketCap or CoinGecko because there hasn't really been much news about it besides the whole lawsuit. And it's still sitting at number six on market cap at $23 billion. It's insane that it stayed like that. The volume on it right now is at 1.4 billion, which is great. The past seven days, it's up 4.5%. So it hasn't really moved like a whole bunch, right? But it has moved a little bit. I mean, compared to Cardano's up 18%, Doge is up 44%. So I think XRP is just sleeping. 
and waiting for this huge move to the upside. Because once the lawsuit settles and once everything is finalized, they're looking to do what Swift is doing. Transfer money across borders effortlessly. I don't know if I even said that right, but without any struggle, um, cheap, anything like that. So Swift handles $5 trillion per day. Think about that. $5 trillion and per year is about $1.25 quadrillion per year. If XRP could just capture a little bit of that market cap, it would send this so high up. You wouldn't even believe it. Um, and that's why I'm bullish on XRP. In the past, I have not because I think it's like a banking currency, but as you know, banks are getting involved with cryptocurrency and the governments and everything like that. So if you're looking at one that is more of a safer bet, I personally would bet on that. There's a lot of other influencers that are talking about this, like BitBoy and several other ones that are super bullish on it. And I know they're accumulating it. And so why, why don't you, why don't we accumulate? Because once it breaks through these levels, it's off to the races. And what's the difference if you buy right here at 46 cents or, you know, if it comes down here to 50 cents or 40 cents, but once it breaks through here and goes up to a few dollars or $10, $20, you'll be thankful you bought it down here versus up here. That's all I'm saying. So look out for XRP because it looks very bullish. And thanks for following along. Remember to subscribe and I'll see you guys on the flip. Peace.